So, um, can you hear me? Yes, I can. Okay, that's fine. Um, okay, so we are able to try that. Can I ask on that? Excuse me? Yeah, I'll ask if you're able to try your hands on what we did yesterday. If I if I tried it, yes, I'm 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 doing my own thing. Um I, I was waiting for you to send me the um the, the link class. Uh-huh. Uh, so yeah. If you can do that, I would appreciate it. And also if, if we can also um like keep it keep the time because what happens is that just like oh you have other things I am also um, doing I need to go here, go there to, to uh, so yeah. if we can agree Sorry like like 8 30 your time 1 30 my time and we kind of stick to the to the hour hour an oh, hour and a half an hour no so hour and a half no so um that exactly. way we we can get stuff i i can organize my day no okay okay that, that, i would really appreciate it and also if if you can send me this the video from the last class so i can uh, yeah. look at this at them um, okay okay how will i do that yes thank you okay thank you. Okay, so um, on today's um, training, it will be on the slab design and then the pie foundation. I know that. Okay. So with this now, once you have done with your building design and everything, you can see that your slab is still showing uh, white, white not, not which designed. means not designed. Yes, I know that. So we now have to come back to our plan view here, and then designed for this lab and how do we do that you have to go to um go to modeling tab here then you see slab strip slab uh -huh. yeah, slab strip although mm -hmm. be before the slab strip you can come to your slab and set your maximum spacing that you okay. want so i'm going to set it now yes come to slab here then um come to this place uh, we, we bar. Yeah, you, you can see it here. Maximum spacing 300. I can, I can say, okay, let me, let, I want to use 200 as one maximum spacing. And then minimum spacing, let me say, I want to use 125. You understand? So you can set all this. And then minimum bar size, D10, that's the 10. I know that. Okay. So by by doing that now, also let me see, because it comes here to, Concrete cover, you can see here 25. Um, uh -huh. so that's okay. So that's all the sets. Is it yeah. okay? Yeah. Yeah, that's all the sets. Then now um I can just click on this print steel bar total length if you want that. Then you okay. uh, can click on save okay. Then um, save again. So with that now we can now come to, to modeling here, then slab strip here. Now on that slab, yeah, you can see that we have x direction and y direction. So the x direction is going what is going um, this way um, horizontally, and the y direction is going the vertical direction. Vertical, yeah. Yes. So with that now, I'll begin with the x di direction. Then I have to come here that says slab type. I'll just make sure I am on the, this first one here, uh, analytical step. Um, sorry, um, strip. I'll click that first one, and then most importantly, these boundary conditions. Knowing that we might have a cantilever at the boundary, all right. Let me say a, a cantilever or just a slab, and then we have just beam as the boundary. So in in this case now, if I want to cut or um, detail a slab through this panel. To the X direction here, I have a boundary here to be what beam to beam boundary. Are you there? Yes, no. yes, yes. Uh -huh. Okay. So right now I have beam to beam boundary. So with that now, this second, this uh, middle one here, we, these are beam to beam boundary, all right? Okay. So I see they have at start and at end. So if my beam to beam boundary, if, if my boundary now is beam to beam. I will come and choose this and this. This one here is if we have cantilever slab starting, 
and cantilever slab ending, you the cantilever, no? Yeah, you can pick these options. Or you might have beam here, and then ending should be cantilever. You pick start beam at end cantilever. Understand? Or okay. at start cantilever at end beam. Okay, then this other one here is slab. For the example now, I want to detail just from this panel here, from this, let me say, from here to here. Um. Right? So yeah, since I have slab here already, and I have slab here already, but I want to just detail only this, just this, okay. this one. So I, I will say slab to slab. I see that this is slab to slab, like slab ending and slab starting and slab ending. Yes. Okay. So in this case now, we have beam start. Beam and beam. And yeah. So I'll come here and click beam to beam end. And then with that now, I'll then come, I'm, I'm, on, I'm on the X direction. I'll then come, just take your hands um, after the beam, not too far, then click. And then hold your control key to keep the line straight. And then cut through the panel. And again, pass the beam again a bit and then click again. Okay, then let me, now you can be able to see that now. You can see here, it's showing you 20 D10 and 200 facing T, top. Yeah, so you can see that, right? Yes. Okay, so I'll do the same thing now for the next, um, for the next one again. So I want to cut now from here again, all the way down um, here. Again, since I've already cut through this other panel, I'll cut from here to here, or from here to here. So right now, I will, my, my start becomes beam, and my end, okay, okay let me see. Okay, I'm gonna cut from here now to this other place. So it's still beam to beam. So I'll cut from here to here. Okay, so right now, we have we are done with the X direction. I'll okay. then change to Y direction. Again, the Y direction is still beam to beam, so I will still be on that beam to beam. And I'll cut again from here to here. Okay, I have that now. Again, I'll move to the next panel. Now, I want to cut through this panel. Then later, I'll, I'll not come and cut. Okay, let me, let me cut this one now. So I want to cut this now beam to slab. So I'll come here, change the end to slab. And I'll come here, click on this, and then pass through this slab and then click here. So I have that now. Okay. I'll come now, change beam, beam to beam. And I'll cut from here all the way down here. Okay. And again, from here all the way down here. And again, the last one now from here all the way um, down here. All right. So right now, now, had it been the depth is not sufficient, while you're cutting, it will, it, it will show you a warning that, that either the depth of the slab of that, of, of that panel you're cutting through is not sufficient. Although, now we are done cutting the whole slab now, slab strip, and then choose to do what close, and then go and look at, um, look at the slab design reports. By coming to under this place now, under this strip here, I'll click on this strip now, right click, and okay, under the slab, sorry, slab here, click on the slab, right click here, and then you see here, slab, ana slab analysis and design, I'll click on this now. And then I can choose to generate the reports. You can see first, everything is okay here, else you'll be seeing failure. You can see the spacings of each of the panels, I know that. We can see generate this uh, re report from here by clicking here, design reports, and then just hold on for a while. It doesn't take much time. So, okay, I think it's already done. Correct. So you can see the slab design report now for each of um, the panels. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So I can choose to do PDF or not or Word. But for it, right, let me just cancel that. Then I will not even if you now come back to this 3D view now, you can see that all your all your slabs now they're not green. Can you yes, see that? Green. Uh -huh. Exactly. So right now we have done the slab design and all that. Then let's now move to the foundation to what we have now. 
So we have checked for uh, let us know we have checked for everything. We have checked for the beams, for the columns, and for the slab. So we are done with um, we are we are done with the whole superstructure. We are now entering into the sub structure design, which is the foundation design. So right now we go back. I'll come back from back from this uh, design interface and go to model interface, which is this one here. None. I'll click on OK. So on this now, I'll go back to story one and then go and make story zero active. Story zero becomes the foundation level. So I'll make story zero active, duplicate on it, and then you see only our column points and all that. Okay. So do, with do, this, do that again. Do that again. Okay. So right now, I said I am, I said why we are on the story one, which is the st uh, first story one. To now begin the foundation design, come to story zero here and double click on it. Double click. So I'll click on this place and double click. Understand? Or, yes, or why I'm on story one here, I'll click on story zero and then right click and you see select story. All right? I'll now se select the story here. You see the same thing. And now I, I'll not be on story zero. Now, on story zero, all you see is just a column point. Because right now you have not yet done any foundation design and all that. Okay. Now you say that in, in your country you 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 use more of uh, mini pi mini, mini pi foundation, right? Mini pies. Yes, uh huh. Okay, so with that now we will start with a pi foundation. Okay, so to begin a pi foundation, you have to go and make some kind of settings first. 